Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a comparison video between the Adidas Addy Power Predator and the Mizuno Wave Ignitus 2. Now I realize that these are both kind of an, an unusual pair of boots to compare, but I wanted to compare probably the most popular power boot on the market right now, the the Addy Power Predator, and something that is kind of unusual and a lot of people probably haven't seen before or aren't too familiar with, which is the Mizuno Wave Ignitus 2. Um, first off guys, comfort and fit. I thought the Addy Powers, when I first wore them, were really comfortable. You get this really nice suede heel liner. Um, the leather is nice and soft. Uh, the offset lacing is good because the shoe wraps your foot really well. It is, it is a pretty wide boot and it does end up stretching a lot so the fit doesn't end up being as good as it could be. But it still is a really good fitting shoe and it's uh, pretty comfortable as far as soccer shoes go. Now the Mizuno Wave Ignitus is a completely different story. No shoe I've ever worn has ever come to the level of comfort that this shoe offers. Um, the heel liner is this synthetic kind of rubbery suede material. It's very very strange to feel it. But it is super comfortable and it's like zero abrasion whatsoever. It's I'd say it's next to impossible to get a blister from it. Uh, the upper of the boot is kangaroo leather and it honestly guys this shoe just is so comfortable. It actually has some kind of some form of arch support in here too and it really it feels like an expensive riding shoe rather than a soccer shoe which is just something you never feel in a in a soccer shoe. It's just really the most comfortable shoe ever. Like from right out of the box you can wear it for 10 hours if you wanted to and it would never bother you. It's really that comfortable of a boot. Because these are both power boots I wanted to just kind of talk about the power elements that these shoes offer. Um, the Predator power element is pretty minimalistic for a Predator anyways. Um, it's just this rubber area. It's pretty soft. It's abrasive rubber. Really it feels good when you hit the ball but as far as it's uh, uh, ability to affect how you shoot the ball it's really not that effective I find it has a little bit of grip on the ball but not much at all you can see there's these grooves in the in the upper in the predator element sorry really it has not much of an effect and it's kind of there just to be there I think and but can't complain about it it's uh it does its job now the Mizuno is again it's very unique in that it offers some different technologies that in the end do end up working I feel. Um, these little pads on here I believe they're called bio panels. Um, it's a very hard, they're very hard rubber panels that are textured, I don't know if you guys can see these. Not textured but they have these patterns like tread, almost tread on them. And they do create some grip on the ball, not as much as you would think. But it gives the boot, these shoes, these panels give the boot a very almost like it has its own skeleton kind of feel. It's like the boot has a frame to it. It's a structurally stable I guess you could say. It just feels really unique on your feet and it feels really great for shooting the ball. And the other really uh, unique thing on this boot is this panel right here which is called uh, the Mukaitan panel. And basically what it is, it's a very abrasive rubber and it's, it's pretty thin but it's there just to grab. It's a uh, for the like a dipping free kick shot I guess you could say you know the shot take a free kick and it goes up and then it drops randomly this is what this panel is for if you can if you have that technique down and you put this shoe on I can guarantee you that this panel will help you do that a lot a lot better and more consistently than you could in any other shoe it really does work if you uh, have the technique down this thing really works well um, if you ever seen Kazuki Honda who plays for Japan I believe, if you see him do it, he's wearing these boots. Um, another thing I want to talk about a little bit was the durability of these shoes. Um, there are some known durability issues with the Predator. Um, I myself didn't have too many problems with them, but I know that there are people complaining about the separation from the sole. <laughs> the Mizuno Wave Ignite, on the other hand, is just on a whole another level of durability. I uh, these are still fairly new. I haven't worn them more than probably 15 hours. 
but I had the original Wave Ignitus one and honestly they were indestructible. I wore them on turf, um, in sand, in the mud, in the rain. They've been soaking wet. They just keep going. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them at all. Which is pretty crazy considering they are a kangaroo leather shoe. But honestly guys, the build quality that Mizuno offers on this shoe is like some of the best build quality you'll ever see on a soccer shoe. And it's just, it's something you don't see at all from any of the big brands like Nike and Adidas. And it's just really impressive to to see that kind of uh, durability in a, a soccer shoe. Well, if you guys want me to pick a favorite, I think I think from the the first part of the video you can tell my favorite is definitely the Mizuno Wave Ignitus over the Predator. For I feel like it beats it in pretty much every category. Category. It's just a the build quality is fantastic. The comfort is the best you can get from any soccer shoe, and the feel is just nothing like you've ever felt on a soccer shoe. Um, the Addy Power comes in. It's two hundred dollars. But you can find it on sale for a lot less, especially if you go to my website and check the super deal section, guys. There will always be great deals right there. The Mizuno Wave Ignitus, I believe, is 180 And I know it's not available in North America, but if you click, to, click the link in the description to my website and click the written review for these, um, you'll find a Buy It Now link, and they will ship globally. So if you do really want to get a pair of these, there's nothing stopping you, considering if you do live in the, in the U.S., so, um, definitely go check that out, guys. I'll leave a link in the description to that if you want to check that out. Another thing, guys, go check the written review for this shoe. I just talked about a couple things. Now, I didn't talk about everything, but I really explained really well how this shoe really does feel, as well as the Predator review if you want to check that out. Uh, the written reviews are really where the real content's at, so if you guys really want an in-depth review, go check those out. Click the link in the description to SoccerReviewsForYou.com. Um, also guys, go check out my Facebook page, uh, links in the description to that as well. I'll always leave latest updates, any new reviews I post on my website, any new shoes I get in, any giveaways that I'm doing on Facebook, they'll be posted there, so if you're interested in that, go sign up, go like my Facebook page. Um, as always guys, if you uh, have any suggestions or have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments guys, feel free to ask me whatever you want to ask me, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure you guys comment, rate, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And thanks for watching.